Okay, here we got a problem. Uh, the integral from 0 to 1 of x plus 3 over the square root of 4 minus x squared dx. So this is going to use two different basic rules to solve this thing. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do with this is we're going to break this into two equations. Okay, so this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x over the square root of 4 minus x squared plus the integral from 0 to 1 of 3 over four, square root of 4 minus x squared dx. <clears throat> now this 3 right here, we can go ahead and move it out here like this. Now we've got two separate problems that we're going to solve two separate ways. So this one over here, another way that you could write this would be 2 squared minus x squared dx like this, and that fits the arc sine model. So if we integrate this, this is 3 times the arc sine of x over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. Okay, now this part, the first part over here, we can just use u substitution on this. We can let u equal 4 minus x squared, then du is negative 2x dx. And so what we'll need to have is we'll need to have a negative 1 half out here in front to cancel out that negative 2. Oops, I forgot my dx right here. And then um, this becomes uh, the integral of um, 1 over the square root of u du. <clears throat> and then if I want to figure out what these are, um, I need to substitute those into here. So if I substitute in 0, I get 4 minus 0 squared is 4. And if I plug in 1, I get uh, 4 minus 1 squared. That's 3. OK. So then I can rewrite this as um, this is uh, u to the negative 1 half du. It would be another way to write that. Okay, we can integrate the um, first part of this thing is going to be uh, u to the one half, and we're going to need a two out there in front, and then that's times negative one half, and then uh, this part over here is done already. So we'll just go ahead and, oops. Okay, <clears throat> now you can evaluate it from 3 to 4 here, or you can um, go ahead and substitute back in the 4 minus x squared, which is what I'm going to do. Um, so this uh, negative 1 half is going to cancel out the 2 there, and I'm going to get uh, negative 4 minus x squared. And 1 half power, of course, is a square root. And that's evaluated from 0 to 1, because I put the x's back in. OK, plus 3 arc sine x over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. OK, so in the first part here, if I plug in the 1, I get uh, negative square root of 4 minus 1, that's 3, uh, minus, uh, plug in the 0, I get negative square root of 4, plus 3 arc sine of 1 half, minus 3 arc sine of 0. 
Okay, so <clears throat> this ends up being uh, plus and plus. That's 2 minus the square root of 3. Okay, and uh, that's plus uh, the arc sine of 1 half is... Uh, The arc sine of one half is pi over two. No, I'm sorry, it's pi over six. So three times pi over six is going to be pi over two. <clears throat> the arc sine is zero is zero, so this ends up being zero. And so this ends up being two minus the square root of three plus pi over two is the exact answer, which is approximately 1.839. So either one of those two solutions will do, and you're done.